Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll take a look at a really cool Arduino development board called Stimterra. This is it right here. And I didn't forget to plug the microcontroller into the breadboard. This breadboard itself is the development board. That's right, there's an at mega microcontroller built right into this thing. In fact, there's actually two microcontrollers in here, but I'll get to that later. The biggest advantage of this is that it's so compact, because if you wanted to connect a normal Arduino to a breadboard, you'd either have to get one of the smaller nanos or micros that fit onto the board itself, which uses up a lot of pin space, or you have to connect it using jumper wires, which ends up being bulky and kind of fragile because they tend to disconnect when you move things around. So having it integrated just makes things a lot easier. Another thing I really like is how all of the I.O. pins are accessible on the breadboard, and they're all labeled and organized really nicely too. You might also realize that the pin layout is the same as the Arduino Uno, meaning you can plug Arduino shields directly into the breadboard. The board has four built-in LEDs. One of them is just a power indicator, two of them are TX RX activity indicators, and this one is a built-in LED that you can use however you'd like. As far as power options go, there's a barrel socket here and a micro USB port here. Either of those will work for power. And the USB can also be used for programming or communicating with a computer. Plus it has a reset button here, which is pretty handy. And if you flip it over, the back is actually Lego compatible. So you could build a base of some kind or a robot for instance, and have it so that the breadboard just snaps right onto it. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I won't go into too much depth with the code side of things because, well, it's Arduino compatible, so pretty much any Arduino code will just work. These are some little example projects that I built to test it out, and they each took maybe 5 or 10 minutes to put together. Another point I'll make is that it's a fully functional breadboard even if you're not using the integrated Arduino, which is actually pretty cool because having a breadboard that you can power over USB and get a regulated 3.3 or 5 volts is a useful device in and of itself. Not to mention the fact that with a tiny bit of Arduino code, you can use the analog inputs or PWM outputs to do analog to digital or digital to analog conversions. That frees up your breadboard because you don't need to connect dedicated chips for that kind of stuff. And since it can communicate with your laptop over USB, you can also use it as a simple probe or logic analyzer to visualize what's going on within circuits and to debug things. So even if you don't plan to use it as a microcontroller board in any of your projects, it's still a really useful little breadboard. Now, I did mention that there are two microcontrollers in this thing. The main one that you load your Arduino code onto is an atmega 328 p which is the same one used in the Arduino Uno boards. But there's also an atmega 32 u 2 which is similar to the microcontroller used in the Arduino Leonardo. So what's cool about those is that they actually have a built-in USB controller, and that's how it's programmed to work in the Stimterra by default. It's basically just handling USB stuff so that the 328P can talk to your computer to load your code or do serial communication. But it's possible to load different code onto the 32U2 and have it do more than just USB stuff. Most people will just load Arduino code onto the 32.8p and use it that way, but I do like that you can access both of them independently. And the pin breakouts for the 32U2 are accessible on the breadboard in these two headers if you ever want to access those. Well, that's the Stimterra programmable breadboard. I hope you enjoyed this video. I realize it's not a project or a programming tutorial like some of my other content, but I just thought these were really cool and wanted to share them here. And yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you next time.